Tell me about the beginning, right? Uh, you had this Japan dream. You went through this very difficult school. You arrive in Japan. What was your first impression? How was it like to, to adapt to life here in Japan? Finally, my being first here. impression when we got in Haneda, Haneda Airport. Honestly, when I saw the people, the Japanese people, wow, they are all good looking. <laughs> <laughs> they have all the uh, young looking skin. They are all look artista, what celebrity. In in my eyes, at least for me. They look so good and they are so aesthetic. And then when we we stayed, ah, we stayed in Chiba Nag ah, Chiba, Chiba Tokyo for mm -hmm. a month. We studied there the still language and then the culture. And then after a month, we are deployed in our company. So then, it's time to work. Yeah, when we got in Nagano, uh, at least two days. We stayed in our apartment to settle down and then work. <laughs> work. Uh, yeah. Training. Training for three months and then work by ourselves already. Do you remember your first day at work? First day at work? <laughs> It's so sad. <laughs> so sad. It's so tough because we have to learn. We have to understand Nihongo. We have to... Nihongo and machining. Machining by itself is so hard. Machining, studying machining in Nihongo times 10. <laughs> times 10. <laughs> yeah. So tell me about just machining. <laughs> what exactly is your job in this factory that you work on? What do you do? Uh, my machine is late machine. Do you know what late no, machine is? No, you'll have is? to run me through this. <laughs> late machine is like a machine that uh, cut a raw steel from, from raw and then into specific uh, measurements, into mm -hmm. specific deepness, into specific <laughs> everything. You have to be specific by measurements when it comes to machining. And for me, I, I'm not good in math. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not good in math. That's why I was shocked. But I also challenged myself. And then I am here now. 